and welcome to another episode of Remember When with Dean Doherty, a podcast where I, Dean Doherty, ask my guests to remember when something happened in pop culture history that had some sort of effect on them. Every time I say pop culture history, it sounds like I'm either drunk, like <laughs> on I, on drugs or like can't do a tongue twister. <laughs> uh, my guests today are country singer star yep, Lisa me. McHugh. Oh, sorry, Lisa, Lisa McHugh. Oh, you're a city country. comedian Apologies. star. <laughs> yeah, yeah, city I'm comedian. Uh, it's you, are you a real city comedian? Yeah, there's no country comedian. Oh, no, there is country comedians. Mark McCartney. Yes, but Rural. also you could, if you just go to the country and do a gig, then you're yeah. a country, you're a country comedian. comedian. Is that how it works? Well, that's how it's going to work now. But surely then, Lisa, is, you've been a, you've sung in the city. So would Lisa then be a city right? yeah. Guys, it works gender. But works both ways. That's funny though that there's a country singing. Country is a genre. A but genre, city yeah. isn't. Then com- like, comedy huh? is... Urban. Yeah. Well, well, you couldn't pigeonhole that to a specific genre. Well, you, you kind of get like... Yeah, we get like one-liner comedians. So that's a bit of a genre. <laughs> we get, no, My husband's one, but I love how all... We get... We get some one-liner ones we get, here, well, trying to be funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. No, and you get that. We prop. get all sorts. No, you get prop comedians, yeah. sketch comedians. Yeah. Musical There's comedians. Musical there comedians. Is, yeah. So there's there's okay. genres. Yeah, yeah, it does work. Maybe I mean, the only currency is funny at the end of the day, but like yeah. there are different ways of getting there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's all about the path. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? These are both looking at me very <laughs> intensely when you say that. <laughs> And I'm just thinking about orgasms. That's all I'm thinking about straight away. It's Monday morning when we're I shooting this. I can't believe yeah. I didn't think of that. And I don't know how you, you got there. You're both looking at me going, it's all about how you get there, Arn. So it is. And I'm like, girls, there's a lot of pressure for me this early in the morning. I but wouldn't have I didn't even go there. I honestly, your mug looks like to me, it says dude. It does say dude. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, I didn't know what else it could say. I, I, do you in my head? I goes, there's no way that says dude because I couldn't see dude. the D. So then I'm starting to think of what other words it could have been. And do you know how Boot. sad it is? I like went online and, and designed that, that and bought it. <laughs> and you're delighted with it. And I just have a wee dude mug. <laughs> and you love it. Just like that wee word. We dude mug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds like it would be a Scottish word as well. People in dude. Scotland saying dude. Not that I know of. No. You is that where you're originally from, Lisa? Yeah, yeah, from Glasgow originally. Yeah. Wow. The big city. Oh, wow. Wow. wow, Glasgow, yeah. unbelievable. I've never met. I've never met someone from such a place. Do you see if you blindfolded me? Mm. Right. Don't do that. <laughs> but if you blindfolded I me won't. and like took the blindfold off. <laughs> yeah. And I. <laughs> this is great. Where's this going? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing much happened between you blindfolding me and the blindfold. <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> Nothing happened between the blindfold going on and the blindfold coming off of his soup. Right, let's. No, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out wh- why are we blindfolding you? You just what? Look, whatever you do in your personal life, Fiona. What I'm trying to say is Glasgow yeah. and Belfast look the same. same. <laughs> I don't know why I needed to be blindfolded. <laughs> yeah, especially since they look the same. So it would kind of defeat. You couldn't do it but anywhere. I was still if you're blindfolded, that. you could pee in Turkey and be like, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> this is Belfast. Right. That's um, what I was trying to say. Yeah. Them two places look exactly the same. Right. That's a good way. It's a long way to get around saying that. But yeah. But also, <laughs> for me to be unblindfolded in Glasgow, what have you have got the plane? I, yeah. That's true. I don't know. No. Are you deliriously pregnant right is. now? What I'm is? Very tired. There is something happening. You need less coffee. I know. Is what I think. I don't know why. Um, but um. yeah, what I'm saying is it's <laughs> nice to meet someone from Glasgow. It is. Well, thank you. And usually he wouldn't like people from Glasgow. Oh, no. Anyone that's not a Catholic from West Belfast, <laughs> I despise, Lisa. Despise. Oh, I tell you. I'm still resentful. <laughs> What the troubles? Everything. <laughs> Every, I wasn't even. I wasn't a part of it. I'm resentful. I wasn't a part of it. Do you know what it. I was about to say? Are you still resentful about 1912? But it's 1916. I, 1912 was the Titanic, wasn't it? The year. I'm resentful about that too. <laughs> I have. Uh, I wish I was on the boat. I could have been in the lounge singers. Do you um, mean you wish you had? You'd have went down. No, no I'd have stayed up. No. Hundred percent. Hi. Because I had a little child. No, the same, the same. <laughs> women and children first. I save the women and children first, and I could easily slip into both categories if I really want to. No, you'd be on the 
lower deck Irish dancing on a table yeah. you'd go down <laughs> and they're like I'm with space for you on one and I'm like no this is the way there's I want to go and there's a space on the emergency boat I'm like nah do you know what, they'd be like hey, there's a space in the boat or do you want this microphone and you can do a wee tune and, and you'd be like fuck it and I'm, I go, I'm boys, gonna entertain fly me to the moon we're, we're, well sink me to the sea it would be more but yeah uh, yeah Look, either way, I'm happy today. <laughs> and that's the main thing Do you for know now. What I'm resentful of oh. well, talking of the Titanic. Right? There was still enough room on that door. I know. <gasps> did, did you see that recently? They oh, did it. Yeah. Steven Spielberg did it. James Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> but please go on. I mean, if you were to blindfold yourself, you wouldn't know who's who. <laughs> Yeah, James Cameron did a theory. Did a did a like Test. a reenactment with the with the boat. Oh, I've never fucking, seen this. Yes, with the door. door, and they find out that if Leonardo DiCaprio was on the door, he would have survived. So you're right to be See, resentful. Yeah, I, I there was definitely enough room. She could have moved over. Mm. Yeah, she was just spread eagling. <laughs> Is that not the pants? Imagine in, in the, the water, just like, can you scoot over? Just like, I'm cosy. Oh, no. Yeah. no, thanks. She's like, look, Quite I've got comfy. a long few days on this door. <laughs> yes. I'm going to need to stretch out a wee bit yeah, yeah, yeah. before I've, anyone I've finds me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's brutal. Do you know whenever yeah, I first seen that movie, though? Do you know at the time you don't realise that some parts of it are made up? By Jack and Rose aren't real. Right. They're not real. They're yeah. not real people. Do you know when you watch it and you're all, I can't believe it's happening. Mom's like, but them two are made up. And I'm all, but the book happened, right? And she's like, yeah, but mm. there's, they make some bits up. And I'm like, you can trust nobody. Yeah. <laughs> you can trust <laughs> nobody. Not even Steven Spielberg. <laughs> no, we had nothing to do with the movie at all. Fuck um. <laughs> me. Oh, um, God. Um, Lisa, it's nice to meet you. We don't actually know each other. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you too. I'm you, delighted to be here. Do you know I didn't realise that mm. you were Scottish? Did you not? Like, Until like, right now? Well, no, before now. Okay. But like for a long, like as I've, I've I've followed your music, I know you're queer, but I was like, I always thought you were from here. Are well, your parents from yeah. here? Yeah, my mum and dad are from here, yeah. My so how did you end up to sound in the ground? My mum. <laughs> what a question. <laughs> but well. also I'm curious too. <laughs> so they were both born here, my mum, Donegal, and my dad, Tyrone. Mm. And then they moved, they both moved to Glasgow. And they got married and had my sister, two brothers and me over there. Oh, you all sound Scottish then, all the kids? We're all Scottish, yeah. So when you were we, I presume mm. you had a, an Irish accent? No, no. No? Not even when you were a toddler? No, I would have had a Scottish accent because I was over there. Did my you mum's spend kind much of... time with your parents? <laughs> 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 they didn't My mum's accent is probably a wee bit watered down. So she's kind right. of more Scottish. My dad is broad to own. So. Aye. He never lost his accent at all. They never do. The, Tyrone never. people don't know how to. <laughs> they refuse to let they, go. And they refuse to change it's it in any way when they go to any other country. Yeah. You do you say I mean? Tyrone instead of Tyrone? I think I do because I've watched a lot of rap videos. So, uh, Tyrone. Tyrone. Yeah. Tyrone. Uh, Tyrone. Uh, how often are people rapping about Tyrone? No, just some rappers are called Tyrone. All oh, right, their names. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't know how many so how many rap songs have been Reference. borrowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. up in Tyrone. Yeah, yeah Cole Island. <laughs> uh, the um, but yeah. So, but you, if you went to school and stuff, obviously you were around loads of kids yeah. who mm-hmm. were speaking the, the local dialect accent. Do you, so? Do you consider yourself Scottish? Yeah, I'm probably. Boo. Well, I've been here Boo. now twelve <laughs> years. Yeah. Yeah. This is thir- the 13. I moved over in 2010. So, what brought you back home? <laughs> <laughs> Could I have been Can more smacked out I'm back there? home now? Here? I mean, look, you're back home. Yeah. Lisa. I, I, I mean, I class myself here probably. When you're here, you're like, oh, I'm so Irish. But when you're there, you're like, oh, Scottish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen yeah, to lemons. Yeah. I yeah. much prefer the way of life here. Yeah. I much prefer, okay. like, obviously, my family and friends are over there, but I have family and friends here. Mm-hmm. Um, I love how welcoming people are. I just mm-hmm. love the way In Tyrone? people... I keep saying Tyrone. <laughs> yeah, sounds wrong. Tyrone. Tyrone. Um, no, not Tyrone specifically. So I live, <laughs> I live in Fermanagh. <laughs> oh, Fermanagh? Mm. Do you like that specifically? <laughs> no, I do. I do like just the Irish way of going, I suppose. Yeah. And much prefer that to the big city life of Glasgow. Which is why you're a country singer. Because yeah. city singing was not for you. Was not for me, no. Um, where has been your favourite place to perform? Oh, <clears throat> God. Actually, before that, where's, mm-hmm. where's, where do you prefer performing? Scotland or Ireland? 
Ireland. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that was quick. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have like a bigger appreciation for country music here? Mm-hmm. It's a big scene here, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, that was the f- that was the main reason for me moving over initially. Yeah. Um, because there was the demand for country over here that isn't really. I mean, Glasgow yeah. is a huge city. So why have we? Why are we so? What's the background of it? Like, why do we love it so much? I don't know. I think like Smart. every Irish household, especially in the rural parts, <coughs> would have grown up with the radio on, and you yeah. would have had like Hugo, Hugo on. Ah. Yeah. Then there's Daniel O'Donnell. There's Philomena Begley from Tyrone. Was Hugo and... the start of it? <laughs> well, I'm not. Yeah. He created. He created yeah. country music. The grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> He's the grandfather of country. Yeah. yeah. Country granda. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I think a rural part of where everyone lives <coughs> is probably, I mean, like their upbringing right. yeah. would have had a, a big impact. You know, people could probably say, I don't like country, I don't know any country, but... That bothers me. So do you see when people say, I don't like a specific... Mm-hmm. Like, I don't Genre. Like, that bothers me, because like, there's so many nuances within a specific... It's like when people say, oh, I don't like stand mm-hmm. comedy or like you know you like but you don't it's like saying you don't like eating food it's yeah. like, but there's lots of different types yeah. and even within that like it's like saying you don't like a chippy but you could get noodles in a chippy <laughs> can, can you? you I don't know <laughs> <laughs> do you want to hang <laughs> Steven Spielberg served you them uh, the, uh, do you know what I mean like you can get non traditionally non chippy items food yeah. in a chippy you can get yeah. sausages in a Chinese Yes, <laughs> you that's can, true. You can, because I've can. ordered them. You absolutely can. You have yeah. ordered sausages in a Chinese? For kids. Oh. Not me. <laughs> okay. I'm not a fucking Hallian. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't eat sausages from Chinese. Hey, Lisa, look at her. She's not a Hallian. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you look don't look at, at me and go, there's a girl ordered sausages from a Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lady right there. She's getting the curry half and half. Um, <laughs> so what I mean is, like, that's such a blanket statement for somebody to be like, oh, mm. I'm not into that. You know, I'm yeah. not into country music. Or I'm not into, yeah. you know, but it's like, well, actually, have you listened to all of the country music? Because you can't make that decision <laughs> unless you have. Plus, there's also the, there's Irish country and then there's American country <clears throat> and there's yes. country pop. And there's like, there's so many different avenues within the country umbrella. Yeah. In inverted commas. Is there a big appetite for <clears throat> Irish country music in America? Um, I'm not sure because American country it's so big. It's huge. Yeah. Well, like, it's yeah. one of the biggest genres in America. Yeah. So I'm not sure there would be much. And, like, the richest music stars are in America are usually the country stars, aren't they? Because mm-hmm. it's so big. It's such a big... Well, apart from the likes of, like, Beyonce or right. Rihanna But or... Beyonce is country. Yeah. Beyonce? She's from Texas. I know, but she's not a country singer. She oh, wishes. no, look. She oh, wishes. the single ladies. That's oh, why I remembered. That's why I remember. Put <laughs> yeah. your I hands up. Sang. I remember it like a <laughs> yeah, if drunk she... in love. I remember. That's the way it happened. Yeah. Yeah. Then you Simon Coyle. I, I got Lisa. I got a bit of a country voice. Look, let me you tell you. Do, actually. If I have. I have desires to just release a country album on Spotify, but out of nowhere, don't it? No, no build you? up. No Who's nothing. Who's your favorite country artist? Uh, Tracy song? Lawrence. Oh, oh look, I hit Lisa oh, with that. Nice. Yeah. Ding, yeah. ding, yeah, ding. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, yeah I, my mum like, grew up listening to the country. She was mad about it. So around the house, it was always playing yeah. in the background. See? And she watched, what was, what was the channel? T-C-M? T- the country CMT. music? C-M-T. The other, the country, country music, music channel. Yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. Con- something CMT, like that yeah. it, oh that's what it was yeah, and it was huge in our house like yeah. back in the chipped virgin box <laughs> <laughs> it yeah, yeah, was yeah. definitely illegal <laughs> and you couldn't have got that channel without it um, but <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. If, if you could release an album mm. would would your first point of call be country I would do country songs but uh, but from pop songs that weren't original country yes. songs oh. I'd love to hear like that like Lady Gaga covers just intent like all stuff yeah. that isn't mm-hmm. meant to be country which Lady Gaga song Bad romance. I Don't want your loving and I want, want your revenge. revenge. Like yeah. that, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bad I mean, romance. Do you need support, like Hunter? Lisa. You really do have like. Lisa. I, I, Lisa, I also sang there. No, Lisa. <laughs> but Lisa, let's focus more you on did. me. You did. But what I'm trying to say is, he sounds. I have the cadence. I have the oh, cadence. Oh, not saying you're a bad singer that's at all. Well, <laughs> well, that's not what the not people the on your star thought me on RTE in 2004. Lisa, I'm trying to be the new Nathan Carter. That okay. is, that's, that's the oh, goal here. Yeah. No. No? Is that, <laughs> is, is that gone? The ship passed? Well, there already is one. I know, but the new one. Yeah. Like Joe Dolan meets Nathan <laughs> Carter meets Jerry Adams. That's what I want to be in the country. Where's Nathan Carter from? 
Liverpool. Liverpool. Right. Long time thought he was from here too. Yes. Mm. So it's because he he's so big here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does he live here? Just does he could fly over? Yeah, he lives in Fermanagh as well. What is a Fermanagh? What is it with Holden? Fermanagh? No, oh, it's the it's a real hub. Yeah. It's the hub. The hub of country. I there. need to move there. You, if you if you want this That's to a become a real happen. thing, you should you could do like a stand up's holding me back. Yeah, yeah. I've always <laughs> said it from singing. I've country. also always said for a long time that you should give it up. <laughs> 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 you could go on like a residency to Fermanagh <laughs> like Elvis in the yeah. International Hotel just me in the manor house <laughs> just every every weekend at a wedding somewhere yeah just mm. yeah and come out the other end of the country star that's the dream guys one day we're we're I'm gonna look out for that you know look I'm gonna wait for it Lisa you just wait see when <laughs> I move to, see when I move to Fermanagh you're fucked yeah 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 see all your, your main competition <laughs> yeah See, being a woman in that industry, though, do you find it like it's a smoother no. course for a man? Oh, I thought you were going to say a woman. No, not for a woman. Definitely not. Never is. But no. um, if you find oh, here that, we go. Yeah. No. <laughs> you know all about it. Fuck you. <laughs> so true. With your dick. Go fuck yourself with your dick. Oh. <laughs> I did that on this podcast right now. It'd be very weird. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think we would get some views. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy oh, to oh, experiment. You'd, oh, you'd get some views and I'd get in jail immediately. <laughs> Not if we invited you to do it. <laughs> yeah, if I'm in the court being like, it was consensual. They asked. They wanted it. <laughs> That's my defense. Yeah. They loved it. <laughs> so they did it. Clearly. I don't care if they were crying. <laughs> so um, it's a much difficult, more, it's a more difficult journey, isn't it? For, it is. Yeah. yeah, no, it's, I mean, I can't speak for any other kind of. Gender. Uh, g- yeah. No, yeah, gender. Yeah. I, I suppose everyone has their. They're tough times, yeah. whether you're male, female, or, or otherwise. But I can't speak for any other career, but it's been bloody tough in yeah. the, country or the country world. Yeah, I think as well, in the music industry in general, uh, there's a wild lot of pressure on a female for how she looks, and mm-hmm. that's not the same for the guys. No. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like Even mm-hmm. from being an actor myself, I've always found it being so much easier because I'm stunning. <laughs> 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, there's, a, there's obviously such a pressure. Then when I moved into comedy, I was like, nobody really cares in comedy what you look like. No. So so much, it's such a healthier place to be as yeah. regards just not the pressure on physical appearance as there is mm. in acting or singing. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I suppose it's all, the, you're basically judged by the eye. Yeah. Immediately, before you even open your mouth. Yeah. Yeah, the, and there's no female Lewis Capaldi. No, no, there isn't. There really no. isn't. Like, mm. someone who's, like, I, all, all the all women in, in music and usually in the acting world as well are all... From when they start to a few years later into success, they've all had mm-hmm. a bit of a makeover. Yeah, Adele. Yeah, is like, the yeah. maddest one, isn't it? She's, is like yeah, but she's like she, porcelain. She's so perfect, perfect now. She's yeah. she's perfect. Yeah. You know, yeah. she looks amazing. Which is a shame because like it was like obviously she just they were just told her to just lose weight and that'll mm. get you more. But they always say about if you see the pictures of like um any of the Kardashians and the Jenners and they're like you're not ugly you're just purr. <laughs> yeah, do you know because they go from like they look oh, what they look yeah. the start to what they look like now, and then it's like any day you think you're ugly, you're not. You're just purr. That's yeah. true. Because you could look like this too. Yeah, if you had money, anything would be <laughs> yeah, anything's easy. possible. Yeah, you can get PT. You can get surgery. You would do. All. I would bypass the, the the PT and go straight to yeah. the <laughs> DR. You pay. Let's <laughs> make it easy. Don't buy. Don't pay someone to make you work out. Pay someone to cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> do you Fair know enough. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I've what would you get done if you could do anything from a surgeon? Screw talks. No, I'm joking. <laughs> the, the, what is that? It is. A, that's it. Sorry, Lisa. I apologize. <laughs> People uh, get yeah, Botox the, in their scrotum. Yeah. But uh, apparently. So I'm gonna sound really what? stupid, right? What? Screw talks, what Lisa? part of? What part, what part of, of the scrotum? What part is this? What's the scrotum? Is it? Is it your ball pad? It's your balls. Your balls are your scrotum, right? Aye, it's just I, your I balls. I should have went to school. And people get Botox in them. Yeah. And Why? Smooth it out. You wonder why you're I, I, No, I'm not taking the piss. I swore Google it, Dan and Mike. They'll tell you. It's, I, it's a thing. I, 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 I imagine it's a thing. There's uh, yeah, people yeah. put fake six packs. Well, on. you think in LA, LA, they fucking they're into everything. Yeah, you know what I mean. You're telling me there's not a guy what? out in LA running about with a big smooth sack on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So there absolutely is, and his name's Garth Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> he is, uh, 
<laughs> no. Did you go see him when he came here? Yes. Yeah? It was unreal. My dad worked at that concert. He built the stage for like three weeks. So he did. He's in the Netflix documentary and all that. Oh, no out. way. I mean, when I say he's in it, he's not giving interviews. Yeah, you can see him building he's, in the background. Yeah, he's in the back. Yeah. He's at the lunch <laughs> buffet there. table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catering, like. Um, shout out to Big Joe. But uh, <laughs> yeah, he said it was it was really... Do you think he'd come back? I hope so. Yeah. Funny story about Garth Brooks. Um, the Please. weekend we were going to see him when he was here for the five nights. I was messing about in the house and started playing, you know, the song The River. Oh, yes. The star, mm-hmm. And my wee boy was sitting messing on the couch beside me. So I thought I'll just sing this and put it up on socials just as a for the weekend that's in it, you know, a Garth Brooks song mm-hmm. and put it on. And then when he went home after the tour, he does his own show, um, Garth Channel. I can't remember now. That's really bad. I can't remember what it's called, but it's on his actual Facebook page. But it's like a proper TV show. Mm-hmm. Okay. And his, his team were showing, we were talking about highlights of his tour in Ireland and the best memories and blah, blah, blah. And his team chose certain things to show him and talk about. My video was one of them. Oh, wow, class. That's yeah. So he watched it and stuff? He watched and it. Did and he, he talk he, over it? He was it? talking over wow. it and he was like, wow, look at that. And he was laughing at Milo, my, my son, oh, and everything. I was like, oh my cool. God, yeah. That's that's very mad. Do you remember? Not to eleven or eighty, right? But <laughs> what eleven or eighty? Yeah, like people say, been to ten or eighty. Someone else like I've been to eleven or eighty. Okay, sorry. Right, I'm so, but no. speaking of Steven Spielberg, he did actually watch Dairy Girls. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah. did he? Wasn't it? Scorsese. Fucking Scorsese! <laughs> <Jesus Christ. laughs> See, do you only have one director that you ever know in your head? <laughs> I want to work with Steven Spielberg. You ever see that Spielberg film, Pulp Fiction? <laughs> it's really good. I find that funny if I didn't Sp- think you directed it. Yeah. <laughs> you watch Spielberg's Avengers. It's looking good. Um, the, uh, uh, do you remember, speaking of Garth Brooks, just because this came into my head, do you remember when Garth Brooks tried to change his persona? To yeah, what? to Chris. Chris Gaines. Chris Gaines, no. yeah. So that sounds like a bodybuilder. In... in <laughs> I want to. S- I want to say it was like ninety nine or two thousand. It was something around that time, and he had just decided he went away for like a year, yeah. and then came out as this per- less like Different alternative person. rock personality, Chris hat Gaines. Or no hat. No hat. No hat. Her emo hair. No. Oh, emo yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah dyed. Yeah, dyed his hair black and was wearing yeah. like black shirts, jewelry, like a magician no, and stuff. No, I don't remember. And then. he yes. released a great song called "Lost in You." That is like it's actually a really good one. Yeah. But, but with a completely different sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a bit different. Yeah, it was, it was like more falsetto and stuff. So like when did he go back to being Garth? I think after that flop. Yeah. Oh yes. He did one <laughs> album as Chris Gaines, and everyone went, "You're Garth Brooks. Why are you trying to call you yourself to Chris change? Gaines?" That's yeah. so weird. Yeah. Why would you do that when all it wasn't like the Garth Brooks thing wasn't working? <laughs> yes, you know exactly. I mean? But I think in his head, he was thinking, he "I can have, bored. I can have two different avenues here. I can yeah. have double the money. I can be Garth Brooks on the weekend, yeah, <laughs> and then during the week, I'm Chris Gaines." But we know, and were, yeah, that was the issue. <laughs> that was that was the issue. <laughs> We'd be like, ah, no like, blindfold. No. Yeah, <laughs> it's almost like no one told Garth. You do know people know that you're Garth. Yeah, it's the same. You've the same face. Yeah, yeah, in the same voice. But he tried, bless him. He did. He did. God loves a trier. Yeah, yeah, but I just thought that was interesting. But, but you could do that someday, Lisa. Surely you would. Yeah, yeah if you need, if you need to reinvent yourself. I don't know, Kelly Mills or something. I if don't know. If you would move into another genre of music, names. what would you sing? Hi. <clears throat> oh, um, probably folk. Ah, uh, yeah. Too close to country, Lisa. Let's get us something else. Pop, pop, then. pop, pop. there we go. Yeah. I was hoping for like ska or emo rock or something like that or scream or something. You know what I mean? I can never remember... I have a really good memory. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I can never remember the proper lyrics to songs. I always end up singing my own. You make up your own. The worst. And genuinely right. When I, so I, I sang to my daughter every night before she goes to bed. She loves a wee song. And I, the past few weeks, I've been singing to her, do you know the one about, Hush Little Baby. Yeah. Classic. Right. But I always sing it wrong. And I always be like, Hush Little Baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a... Mockingbird. Bird. And if that mockingbird don't Same. sing, Mama's gonna buy you a diamond, diamond ring. ring. If that diamond ring don't shine, Mama's gonna buy you a box of wine. Ah. That's what I've been singing. And now that's what she sings. She's gonna grow up. She goes, well, her second birthday's coming up and she genuinely is expecting a box of wine. She's <laughs> gonna write Dana. She pure be so, the wine. Aww. That's what she sings. Aww. I don't know why I gave her a lisp. She doesn't have one. That was inaccurate. <laughs> <laughs> 
give her a list for the Baker Cuter. <laughs> to give her to Baker Cuter. To give yeah. her a wee bit more character. But what is the line? But oh this is the line. thing, and every single night when I'm singing it, I come to that partner wall, and if that diamond ring don't shine, and my head, I'm going, why didn't you Google the lyrics again today? Every day you don't know them. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Dan, would you find out what it is? I can't remember either. Yes, uh, it's too far gone anyway. You're going to have to stick to wine. Oh, and now I wouldn't know how to change yeah. it. Because if you do change it, she's going to be like, what, what happened know? to the wine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's the wine? And my lisp? What happened yeah. to my lisp? But I always fear that because she comes home from nursery all the time and they've been singing new songs. Like they've been uh, singing Baba Black Cheek now and she's oh. obsessed. But if they get to sing in Hush Little Baby and she gets she's to do a, a solo and she starts going, I bought the wine. And mm. I'll be like, ah, shit. Uh, <laughs> they think I give her boxes of wine <laughs> at night time before <laughs> bed. What is it? Mama's going to buy you a looking glass. That doesn't ring looking with Looking glass. Look. And if that looking, looking glass, glass don't, don't look. Smash. Gets broke. Gets Mama's broke. Gets broke. Oh, too smelly. <laughs> does it keep going on then? As long as this song go, I thought it was. I only do those three, and uh, then over I and over. repeat yeah. and go over and go over oh, and go wow. over. Oh, here having a toddler is like bashing your head against the wall. <laughs> I think for her as well, because you're singing, monotonous. you're singing the same three lines. I was going, yeah. yes, ma'am. I'm... It's actual full. Like they don't want extended versions no. of things they just want to hear the same baby couple shark. of lines do, 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 like baby that. shark yeah. <clears throat> Const- uh, Sim- that's why those songs are a hit yeah simple yeah. short and repetitive Rep- that's that is what people say about me <laughs> <laughs> simple short, short repetitive. and repetitive <laughs> yeah it's my tinder bio yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the, yeah. but that's, yeah. They, that's all they want that's why those songs are so successful what was that one what was that one? Gangnam Style? It's just hooked uh, up them. Yeah, like, the, you don't yeah, even the have babies to sing. love that one to go to sleep, too. <laughs> they do. <laughs> they do <laughs> one. A full Korean song to your baby <laughs> yeah. as a lullaby. Yeah. But there's, there's some songs that I sing to her. Like, there's one about sleeping bunnies, but then there's like a, there's like a, there's like a, like a bass drop, and then it starts going, doom, like it starts going mad. It's all like, it's all like really sad in this. It's all like, um, Fuck about the bunny sleeping and you sing it like this and then it starts going hop 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 oh, wow. it starts going like full techno and wild and then she wants to sing at a bedtime so I have to do a I have to do an acoustic version of yeah. bedtime. Do you have to do a full <laughs> set before like, you get your hop, child hop, to sleep? Yeah. yeah, she doesn't want to. She's all story mummy and I'm all box so mine and I just want to sing the songs. <laughs> it's the only time I get to be a singer. Yeah, is it's quarter to seven <laughs> <laughs> midweek. That's, <early. laughs> That's it. I would have growing up I was like I was determined that I was going to be a singer <clears throat> I remember being in school and I was about I don't like I don't sing and I remember being in school and I was like 15 and my friend went to me seriously though right what are you actually going to do to become a singer because you don't sing and I was all <laughs> that is true I don't sing anywhere I don't sing anything anywhere ever not Why even am I sure be- not it. well yes on my own mm. but it's like okay. I was never singing in, in anything like yeah. so it's like what, what, what exactly am I doing to pursue this <laughs> Sweet fuck off. Act of steps. <laughs> yeah, nothing. <laughs> was it a thing, though, at our age, because <clears throat> those programmes were so prevalent in yeah. our lives, like Pop Idol oh, and X yeah. Factor? Pop Idol was the original. Thought was it was easy. Pop Pete stars, Pete Waterman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And why I met him, because I auditioned for you your star. met him. Did you? And he was, he was one of the judges, yeah, Pete Waterman. Yeah, he asked me to sing some Shakira, and I did. <laughs> <laughs> and how did it go? <laughs> like that. It's Kermit the Frog. I did an impression. And, yeah. they, and he was all look do you want I had went I had given solos on the podcast before but I had went down to Dublin I was only like 16 or 17 and I'd done the audition and they were like no you know you auditioned for like producers yes, before the pre- pre- and they screening. yeah and they were and they want you either to be really good or really shit yeah. and I unfortunately was neither of those things I was just regular run of the mill mm. boring person mm. and I sang a song I sang um, Rihanna on Faithful mm. and they were like no oh You've been unfaithful to the singing industry. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> no. And then I, I cried and all. And I was like, at the bus here from Derry. It was four hours and cost me thirty two fifty. And they were like, fine. And then they let me go through to the producers, which was Pete Waterman and Linda. Or what do you call her with a blonde hair, flicky, middle-aged woman? Lulu? Pete? No. They didn't afford, they couldn't afford Lulu. It was RTE. <laughs> oh, I can't remember. Sally somebody, one. maybe? I, 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 anyway, your woman. And yeah. uh, <laughs> she'll probably be on this podcast next week. <laughs> <laughs> Did the audition and they were like, "No, go back to Jerry." <clears throat> go back to the dad. <laughs> never back. come back out of it again. Don't return. You're terrible. The, yeah. The uh, end of my career. Oh, start. It started and ended that day. One day. <laughs> yeah. You're doing all right now. Not through singing. Not through, through singing. Through the spoken word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I decided to say, instead of singing what I wanted to say, I just decided to say it. Yeah. You interview singers now. 
Yes. And that is, that's even as be- best it's as there. you can get. I have a quick question and just on talent shows and all those. Po- have you ever, like, thought about doing one of those shows? Have you ever got an email from a producer from, like, The Voice being like, oh, come in and audition and things like that? Yeah, I got, I got an email, actually, a few years ago. Now, I'm, I'd be lying if I told you what show it was, if, to be completely honest. I can't remember. Would it have been but a UK show, Ireland? It was a UK one. Mm. Um, but then at the same time... I also didn't know if the email was just an absolute piss. I know. Yeah, they usually aren't. Know. That's how they they reach yeah. out to people like that. Oh, yeah. Take me know. out. I've been headhunted me for Have years. They? Oh, years ago. Like, I'm talking like when I was 22, 23. And I was tempted, but then I was like, no, because I know I rightly, I would be like, let's make the bachelor. And then I'd go down and it's, I'd be dancing. And then it would yeah. just be do, 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 no. do, 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 All the lights going off. To, like, a, like a machine such gun. a killer. Be like, yeah. My man would, would come on screen and be like, I make him toast in bed. And be like, do, 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 do. And I, yeah, exactly. I seen how it was going to play out. Like, yeah. and then I'd have to do the wee walk up the steps and all. I'd be Darn. like, they're all lesbians. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they just don't know a good man when they see one. On your catch. Thanks, Dion. I appreciate that. But I do agree. That's how it went down. A hundred percent. You Gordon Ramsay, but your your um your friend Jordan <laughs> she did Humphreys, it. Humphreys, who's yeah, a yeah. Q radio presenter. I don't know if you know Jordan Humphreys, no, no, no. but she did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had, she had good crack. Oh, but look, she... being the girl, I think is better on that show. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. That's one. That's one of the circumstances where being a girl is better. Yeah, just yeah. I mean, it's worth it. It's worth all of this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for all the pain that you for have that to endure. Thing. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. for not even for just the opportunity to, to get on the email. Yeah. <laughs> for an email so no you never did any of those shows then never done it for but would you obsessed with watching them would you yeah. judge one I'd love to would you yeah do they I'd have a country to. music <clears throat> one no well the ones in America they like so the voice and yeah. um, the vo- they, they all- would have country the main yeah Judges would be country. Would be country, great, yeah, great yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, because mm-hmm. I Kelly Clarkson's a judge on one of those, mm-hmm. isn't she? Mm-hmm. I know she's like country pop more, yeah. But um, would you would you do something like the Masked Singer? Oh yeah, yes. Oh my god, are you on it? <laughs> <laughs> she's the hammer. Shit, I gave away. She's, the yeah, she's the hammer. Um, yeah. I don't know, but the Masked singer I don't know because it's not specifically for singers you can't yeah, be a singer you can't be a singer but I think if you were going on as a singer you'd have to sing with a different voice because that's how people yeah. would immediately recognise you is yeah. your singing voice Yeah. if you're a singer by trade yeah you know not by trade but you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> hammering together a song <laughs> <laughs> fixing the tap on a song um, would you I do it I don't know well, sure. If I got an email, you'd never know. You do know. I feel like you're being so coy. I feel like you're on it. I feel like you're... Right. No, I'm not. I'm definitely not. I'm absolutely Well, you not. would say that because it's in your contract. <laughs> <laughs> you really on this. <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? All right, Lisa, we know. Would you do it? Oh, 100%. I yeah, think that yeah. would be a... I, I it'd be was... a fun one. So fun. fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I um, have always thought, what a stupid show. And then Joel Dammit was on The Blame Game, and he was like, oh, it is. Like, he hosts it, and he was like, it's such a stupid show, but it's so fun. fun. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, I'll give it a watch. And I turned it on. I only put it on last week for the first time, and I was like, I have found a new world. This is mm-hmm. the best show on TV. Mm-hmm. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous yeah and they, those poor bastards are sweating inside yeah. those costumes <laughs> massive costumes yeah and then Catherine Ryan was on it and she got revealed last week and she was doing like a pure Essex accent and everyone and she was really pregnant doing it so everyone thought she was Gemma Collins wow I mean <laughs> that is how to do it <laughs> yeah. Shit, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah just give away your yeah. game plan there yeah, yeah 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 I mean that's I think it's I think it's a great show to do if you if you could do a different <laughs> reality show would you do any of them like, would you do... I'm sorry, to get me out here. Would you do the jungle? Oh, my God, hands down. I yes. would. Oh, would you do it? Do that. Uh, they're looking for people for Big Brother, and Shane wants me to apply. For civilian Big Brother? Civilian, but, well, yeah, it's not going to be the celebrity well, one. Well, there's a celebrity Well, you just don't know. <laughs> no, I know. They might be a butt muncher. Oh, I'm well aware. <laughs> that's, that, that's what people, my fans call me, Lisa. Uh, the, uh, my, la- my last name's <laughs> Butler. Butler, Butler. Yeah. Butler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so. They're looking for people at the minute? Uh, for the new big brother, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, You're thinking may, about it? May, may, maybe I should just apply just to see what they say back. Go you for know it. What I mean? You should talk to Ashley Coyle. Maybe. maybe. And then they were going to do Old Love Island soon. Maybe I qualify. Old people, yes. But then I heard you have to be a single parent to do that. I don't know, you have to have kids? You have to, you have to be a single parent of kids to apply for it, yeah. Oh. Yeah. That is like the opposite of all beauty contests. Yeah. Like, don't, don't have kids, please. Yeah. Do you know you're not allowed to enter a beauty contest if you have kids? 
Miss what? Northern Ireland. Miss Northern Ireland, you're not allowed to have children. Now, I don't know if they've changed it now since like I was aware of the mm. process years ago, but you were not allowed to have kids if, to enter that. That's mad. No visible tattoos either. No visible tattoos? Like even on like arm or like even Yeah, especially not one. the one of your kids' names. Yeah. <laughs> 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 just a dead giveaway yeah like imagine you were on your roll we're going to allow you visible tattoos right now why does your tattoo say my name yeah, yeah. um, it's just my dog no, I was going to say yeah. it's more the dog's name to be fair that's her yeah. son's name oh is it wow the, the, wow well look my daughter's called Winter I get it all the time to be fair yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no mouths all in them <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you fucked that. It reminds me. No, it reminds. It reminds me of the dog from the mask. Isn't that what the mask dog was called? No, it is very much a dog's name. You hear loads. But this is a dog on the mask singer. But it's a very. Fr- it, but it look. Called my last dog. <laughs> no, no, no. But it's a. It is a dog's name. But it's also a Fermana boy's name. True. So it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. in Fermana, Milo's just hit the mainstream. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I know. You're when. claiming back up. I know. What would be your <laughs> game plan on? Big brother, if he were to enter. Oh, I'd be the new nasty Nick. Oh, would I you? lie to everybody. Would, would you? you? Yeah. Can you keep I don't even tell 20... my name's Arn. 24 hours a day, could you keep that up? Yep. It's my normal life. <laughs> 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 the, um, yeah, I no, I don't know. I haven't watched it in so many years that yeah. I honestly couldn't even tell you what I would do. Mm. I think I would just sleep a lot and complain a lot. Because I think from the start, it was like this proper social experiment. This first few seasons, I thought were class. Yeah. Then then it was shit for a long time. Yes. Then when Channel 5 took over and started having fun edits, yeah. Yeah. then it became good again. Yeah. But yeah. now most people that go on those shows are just dying to be famous. Yeah. So you end up with, lo- well, I hope they, because you end up with loads of attractive people in their 20s. Mm-hmm. And you're like, I want to see. See, so, yeah. They got to throw a wild card. They got to throw a wild card. You want like the skateboard nun. Do you remember yeah. her? You want a Craig. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You want a mixture of people. You want people from all different backgrounds, yeah. and you want a few snakes in the grass. So like, some people are like, yeah. in it, like, and they're like, like, remember in the traders when two of them were an actual couple, mm-hmm. but nobody knows. Yeah, that's they just right. steal a kiss before bed. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we own Juliet themselves. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, not kill themselves. That's not what I meant. I just meant like, like just. That is Secret what happens. love. Yeah, that is yeah, what happens yeah, in Romeo and Juliet. Juliet. To be fair, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a beautiful story. Yeah. Um, it's had my life. Not many people have heard of it. The, no, it's, <laughs> it's Spielberg directed it. Actually, I think he did direct a version of did it. Did he? I'm near positive. All comes full circle. I only talk about Spielberg things. <laughs> Someone directed a version of Romeo and Juliet. Who oh, was Baz Lerman? Herman? Lerman? I don't know. I've never heard of that guy. Never the guy who directed the new Elvis movie. Oh. And Moulin Rouge. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen either of them. Oh, the Elvis really? movie is unreal. It is. is, it? It is He's unreal. like a country singer too, isn't he? Yeah. Like he had he had tones and notes and <clears throat> influences of country. Right. So good. Yeah. And the new Whitney Houston movie, the actress Mind. She's yes. not singing. I watched what? an interview with her recently. She won a Brit Award there at the weekend and I don't watch your Brit Award though. She was miming. For miming. I don't know why There's that was. There's a Brit Award right. category. But she was saying that she, she mined, so it is Whitney Houston's voice in the movie. I suppose right. how do you get someone to emulate that without it yeah. sounding so different? Because she's so distinctive, so, isn't yeah. it? And the range of Whitney. And it's like, hard to that's get. That's a difficult voice to... Yeah, she's scandalous. Yeah. 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 Elvis is kind of easy to impersonate. Yeah, because it is like a it is an impersonation, isn't it? Yeah. That's... I always think about swing singers. Like with uh, swing, I'd be like, that's not... You, you weren't... Born. You weren't like doing your, you weren't like doing swing style hush little baby. Yeah. <laughs> little yeah. baby. When you were like two. Boobly that style, didn't yeah. ha- like, you You're putting that on and we know you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. mind? Let on. What is when you're doing like swing singing? Is it just like over pronouncing the words? Is that how it is? I think it's, do you know, do you know like you have to go in heavy with the first syllable? <laughs> Do you know what I mean like? In heavy. Do you know if you're saying like? Fly me. To yes. The moon. Then a tail away. Yeah, Let me play. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they really miss. <milk laughs> yeah, yeah. uh, Lisa's loving this, by the way. <laughs> Lisa's like, kill me right now. <laughs> yeah, the, these two idiots <laughs> tell me how to swing. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lisa, the way it you is to swing. Yeah. The, um, so what did your wee boy? He turned one there last month. Ah. Oh, mm-hmm. Wow. That's a. Like are you, you're out of the trenches now, is what oh I my would God. say. Yeah, and I only feel like I'm out of the trenches. The first year Oof. is no fucking joke. It's yeah. no joke. It is. Well, you're all. about to go through it again. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Are you? I had told nobody. Oh, I was pregnant. I thought it was long out. We no, can cut this if I'm you told, want. No, it doesn't matter. It's fine. It's out now. Because the amount of people come over to me at the Ulster Hall box now and I, and was like, 
<laughs> I didn't know you were pregnant until Shane said it on his podcast last week. Oh, oh well, then there we go. No. It's fully out then. Yes, I. There we go. Well, am there I? we go. <laughs> am I? No fucking not told nobody. Are you? There, there. Um, um, if I'm watching, I'm about. 18 months pregnant at this point. <laughs> <Fuck's sake. laughs> Feels like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. how long it goes. But the first year is no joke. It's really not. Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. Like the apprehension I have for like doing that first year again is wild. But then you won't have that. I don't think. Well, I can't No, this is the it... shock of the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's crazy. A lot of people say that's why that your second is easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. There was many reasons why she stopped. Oh, that, but that was one of them, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, no. <laughs> no Not more of these again. things. <laughs> yeah. Is I can't unleash another one of these into the world. No. It's bad enough as Somebody who only likes Catholics from West Belfast. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lisa. <laughs> Don't you forget it. I uh, know I love her man, and people do, to be fair. The locker earners. I'm not a man of Catholics. The locker Look, Jesus. Lazy Rubber. We clearly hate Glaswegians <laughs> and call their children Milo. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, it's tough day. I know, I know. There's one single, Lisa. But, like, did you find yeah. it such a shock? Oh my God, yeah. But I'm, 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 I was, to be fair, I've been around, I've got eight nieces and nephews, so. Oh, right, okay. I've been around babies, like, for a long time, mm. and I thought, oh, you know. You don't think it's like a duck. I'll be fine. I know loads about babies, but see, when you're, it's not even what to do with the baby. Yeah. It's the emotional roller coaster yeah. that goes on in your head and your body. You are just not prepared. It's the relentlessness. It's just never does not end. Like yeah, I know, the night, you know, like the isn't, I just mean like it's all the time. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I don't know how to word this without sounding awful. Yeah. But I can't believe how twenty four seven it is. <laughs> do you know when you're like, is no one gonna take over for a while? <laughs> You know, when someone gonna come and take it. Yeah, do you know, and even when you're not with them, yeah. they're constantly consuming your brain. So yeah. you're like, hey, you just want to, you just want to tap out. Like, just like I'd love like a, do you know, like an infection? We have to go to hospital for a week or something. Yeah, <laughs> like just a week your off. Your own wee COVID of some kind. In bed, yeah. You have to. They can't go near even her when for you a week. Get sick. You can't. It's not. It's not a case of just. No. I'll lie in bed. You, you know. It's all right. No, you have to deal with. And the when baby. they're really wee and they're in the room, you can't mm-hmm. just be like. Well, like I remember talking to Jane Weisner, who's an actress who was in Bridesmaids with me last year. And I remember saying to her at one stage, like, so me and her and the other girl, the three of us all have toddlers. We were all mums. And we were like, and I told her, what's your plans tonight? Are you just going to chill out? And she said, we, we both just called each other and looked at each other as if like, I haven't chilled out in years. What the fuck are you talking about? She was like, I haven't chilled out in about four years no. since before I had my son to be silly. And yeah. that's all, that's true. Chilling out isn't a thing anymore. No. It doesn't exist. They can't switch off. Because even if they're in the room, they're going to fall. Yeah. Or eat fire. Or, yeah, well, I yours don't know, is. Play with knives. <laughs> well, mine definitely is. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't, you can't walk past my daughter with her going, sit down. <laughs> oh, really? She always wants you to sit down. Bossy. Bossy, but also maybe just looking after my wee feet. Oh, <laughs> she wants me to have Consider a rest. Consider it bossy. Yeah, she said, down. You need it. Yeah. That's what she's like. You need a wee rest, mama. <laughs> Sit down now. Yeah. And like, whenever I collect her from daycare, could I be scunder? Because they sometimes, they, they say stuff about her that sounds like she could potentially be the president, but which is fine when you're an adult. But yeah. when she's not even to you, it's just it's just annoying. Mm. Like they'll be like, "Oh, she made sure everyone lined up and had one turn each on the swings today. It was great fun." And like they're oh saying, "Like it's normal." Oh shit! Or like, <laughs> she uh, told us all off for being too noisy at nap time. She was like, "Shh, it's sleeping time," and telling them off. And you're all, "Yep," mm. and you're all, "That's, That's fine her. for somebody who's gonna potentially own her own company." But when she's not even two yet, yeah, she well, she's a boss. Like. It's all that boxes of wine. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's like, listen. She's absolutely no influence like that in the house. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't know where she gets that from at all. Uh, what stage is your wee boy at now? He is only, like, you're talking about them being in the room. It came to a stage where I was like, right, sorry, you need to go into your own room now because... Oh, in his own bed? His own... Not like during the day. Go <laughs> no, <laughs> you be away. Uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. talking to you anymore. Yeah. Um, no, at night time because... We must have been waking him, like yeah. my husband snores and I sleep. Just talk. moving around. Oh, do you? Yeah, oh, wow. I'm really bad at sleep talking. Yeah, like to the point. Oh. What are you saying? I could be anything. Uh, has your husband ever recorded you sleep talking? No, but <laughs> you kill me for saying this. <laughs> <laughs> One night I actually was sleeping and my husband is easily scared. Like literally, you can give him a fright at the drop of a hat. He's mm-hmm. just so jumpy. So. I was lying in bed. This was before I actually had Milo. And 
I was sleep talking, but I turned round. <laughs> I sat up and I was like, hey, hello. Oh, God, that was frightening the fuck out of me. <laughs> yeah, I turned round to him and I tapped him on the shoulder. I was like, I'm so... <laughs> are you still asleep at this stage? There's somebody down there. Oh, that would freak the shit <laughs> out of me. He was like, what? <laughs> Do you want to make that ten I times scarier? I... Is it Glaswegian accent doing that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello! There's somebody doing that! I don't fuck there is at all, probably! <laughs> I'm not gonna call her a liar! Oh. But yeah, I, I, I had no recollection of it, and I woke up the next day, and he was like, What the fuck was that about last night? And I was like, what? And he says, do you not even remember? And then when he told me, I remembered and I just burst out laughing. But he was like, you're actually going to give me a heart attack. Is what this, did he say? Is this after your son was born? Before. Okay, so he wasn't in he the wasn't room. He wasn't in the room. Could you imagine him? Exactly. You know? no. <laughs> <laughs> Who's here? Who? Sean has a recording of me pissing myself laughing for like five minutes in the middle of the night sleeping. That's um, fast. Like tears shut me. I'm lying sleeping all. <laughs> oh. like just laughing so hard. Oh. On the other, on the flip side of that, I regularly have a full cry when I'm sleeping. Do you? All the time. Yeah, I'd cry on Wednesday, Thursday night whilst I was sleeping. Usually. Are you nightmares or? No. Sean cheats on me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sometimes Sean will cheat me in my dreams. And I. Sometimes? Well, in his dreams. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not I'm seeing it. <laughs> oh my God. Do you know one time Sean will go, and he was older me. I fucking had a dream I cheated on you last night and I would not speak to him. Oh and he was God. like, catch yourself on. Sean hates dreams. He thinks they're so stupid. He's like, don't talk to me about dreams. They're not real. They're silly. And I was like, but like, if you've ever watched Disney, a dream is a wish your heart makes. And oh you, God. you <laughs> dreamt you cheated on me last night. I know. So I've had foul cries in the middle mm. of the night about it. All right. Which is funny because in real life, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> uh, yeah. Getting them all out night time. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't care that much. I'd be like, listen, I'm busy and I'm knackered. Can you <laughs> can I get a bath here? <laughs> I have other things to think about. Did you do the groceries at least? Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Did you put a coloured wash on? I don't care. <laughs> yeah. But I like I I Sean's like, don't talk to me about dreams. But my mum would be really into dreams and it looks into all the things that they oh, mean. The deeper meaning behind. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Do you ever have you ever had a reoccurring dream? No. I Here's a weird thing about me. I don't really dream that much. That's not true. That's not true. I know I dream really subconsciously. Don't remember I don't them. remember when I wake oh, okay. up. I ve- I would very rarely, I mean like once a year, I maybe remember, rem- a dream? I maybe remember a dream. And it freaks me out because it doesn't happen that often. I wonder, I would love yeah. to look into that yeah. and be like, why can't you remember your dreams? Are you Maybe suppressing? there's something there I'm not you meant to suppre- say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> so, maybe there's something. Oh my like, God. Imagine like, all the secrets of the world were being told to you in your sleep and like you were waking up and they were like, for fuck's Wasted. sake, why can't you remember? <laughs> Wasted. What a waste. Yeah, all these billion dollar ideas <laughs> that I just will never be able to access. Like the trouser skirt, which I invented. The trouser skirt? Do you remember the trouser skirt? The trouser skirt. You and you invented Say it again. It. Somebody say it again. Well, you invented it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're we're trying to prove. Do you remember it? the fashion? Yeah. Like absolutely, like the fashion item that changed the world. The trouser mm-hmm. skirt. It was sold in Tamagir circa two thousand and three. I don't. I don't. <laughs> no, no pair of trousers with a skirt over the top. It's like one sale is exactly what it says in the tin. <laughs> and <laughs> is it two layers? To, well, it's Joined. They're attached. So you put your legs into the trousers. Yeah, up, I had And them. there's like a like a tennis skirt over the top. Yeah. You had one. I invented yeah. that. No, you didn't. I did. I drew it in a sketchbook <laughs> in my bedroom. I swear, I swear on my man's life. Well, no joke. Couldn't find the sketchbook. The following summer, Tamagare was selling them. And I remember being in there with my man going, those cheeky bastards. I was like nine, but I in my swear room. I invented the trouser skirt. Mm. Fact. And I'll never, I'll, I'll, I'll never, I'll I never get over you. it. No, I believe No, I'll never get over it. Uh-huh. Have you ever had a reoccurring dream? No. I used to have a recur so. dream all the time when my teeth were ripping through my face. Stop it. Like oh. ripping through all of my cheeks. What does that mean? It means that you're t- <laughs> either ang- ang- anxious, anxious or insecure about something that's happening specifically. But like I would get that. <clears throat> I haven't had it in years, but I would have had it four years. Oh God. Yeah. Well, you are both a joy to sleep next to. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> your teeth are ripping out of your face and she's fucking, why hello? you sleep alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, that's why. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I just kicked you in the nuts and he's like, yep, yeah, that's why I want, I want to sleep on my own. Ah, <laughs> uh, sure, we can laugh. Um, oh. <laughs> do you snore? Mm. Oh, your husband snores? 
Yeah, he's not. Loud. If I'm like completely exhausted, mm-hmm. I'll probably snore. Does he ever wake you up snoring? Yeah. Yeah. And what do you? How do you deal with that? Do you let him Should snore? I, I Should roll a babe. Over. I, you roll over and he continues to snore? Oh no, if he's snoring? If he's snoring. Oh, I'll wake him up. Because surely that's a, that, if there's a baby in the room. Well, that's why, like, even, for example, the other night, Milo's not in our room anymore, but he was snoring the other night and I, and it's just because I'm so... S- he still woke him up? No. <laughs> 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 I was so used to rolling over and saying, wake up, you're going to yeah. wake him, but he wasn't even in the so room. How so how did you wake him up? Did you just give him a wee push and go, wake up? Yeah. My dad is... It a... was a punch the job joke. Well, <laughs> here's the thing, my dad is like a serial snorer, like, and I mean, his snores aren't like even rhythm. They're not like, they're like, oh, they're like that, right? They're like, and the point where you think, and I, I was when I lived my mum and dad's house, I was like, he's dying. He's yeah. legit dying here. But it would wake my <laughs> mum up. And my mum's like West Belfast woman. My mum would like not, she wouldn't give him. She would literally, my dad would be snoring. And then all I would hear is, Joe! <laughs> and it was the sound of her slapping him in the face. And he didn't know why he was being attacked in the middle of the night. And he would go, ha, ha, like that. Because he doesn't know he's snoring. He doesn't know he's snoring. He just thinks he's getting uh, the fuck getting out of him for some reason. <laughs> and then she goes, you're snoring. And he goes, ha, ha, ha. And he just rolls over and goes back to sleep again. That shows how you and used, that's love. How used he is to getting smacked in the face by your dad. <laughs> oh, he's like, he's so numb, dude. He literally realises now. That's why he gets smacked. Um, Arn, do you ever remember when moment? Yes, and it's musical Love themed, it. and it's also Super Bowl themed because that that was recently. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Do you remember when Janet Jackson's Diddy popped out? Yeah. Because of Justin Timberlake. Yeah. And here's number of things we can <laughs> break down here: Diddy, Teddy, whatever. Number one had a big rude nipple ring on it. So rude. Yeah, it was rude looking. <laughs> It was a rude looking what nipple do you mean ring. It was rude. Because it looked at you. <laughs> like, it, was like, it wasn't just like a wee piercing. It was, it was, it a, was big a full old... sunshine star. Oh, was it like a ring? Do you not remember the nipple ring John Jackson had? I didn't zoom in on that bit. But it was in the papers. Right, okay. Because uh, back then they would just put that photo in the papers. Yes, and all of a sudden if she has a nipple ring, she must be a porn star. Well, she, look, Janet Jackson, I would pay a bit more respect than that. So <laughs> I would want the Jackson prestige family. I'm talking about that's what the headlines oh, would have been sorry. back then. Yes, they'd be like, oh, been. she's an apple ring. She must I, be a crazy bitch Oh, she's, yeah, she's yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. get her cancelled. No, because that was actually at the time the whole the whole thing. But yeah, so then they were going, did she plan the nipple ring? Did she plan for Justin to yes, whip it out? because that one came out. And then, yeah, and then I thought... It's a shame because Justin performed recently. He performed like two or three years ago. Mm-hmm. What he should have done. Was got his own nipple out? No, they oh. should have had, well, no, similar. They should have had like a girl, just like a wee slice in his jeans and just like a wee patch. Oh. And then he should have got his thing out. Showed off with his like perfectly wee, screw-toxed balls. With like a wee Christmas <laughs> ornament on it. And that 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 was a way to make, make that fur. I even Stephen? Even Stephen. Well, he's been involved because even with, uh, when that whole free Britney thing was happening, then that was, he, but Justin Timberlake was like, I was part of that process that led to her being like victimised a lot because I allowed them because because the whole do you remember the whole Crammy River and like they yes. made Britney Spears the actress look yeah. like Britney Spears yeah. in the video with the hat yes. and the jeans and all and then he was like that was a whole marketing thing to really make her look like shit and make me look like golden boy at the end mm-hmm. of that relationship and I apologise for that and I shouldn't have done that and mm-hmm. blah 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 so there Tom why is he such a golden boy now if he's part of Two different situations. They brought that up as well, though, the nipple ring oh, thing. So, yeah, because they were talking about how Janet got victimized for it, and he mm-hmm. was like, oh, you know, no, no one really cared, but like, he had a part in it too. Like, Aye. You know? Like, it, when you watch the video, it's very weird because it does literally look like he just goes, What did he do? Did he say it was an accident? It was meant to be a dance move or something where they're like dancing the air and he goes like this. Oh. But then he literally. Her tit out. But then the tit, and then she's all like, oh. Do you see if you were like in NSYNC and you were like your early 20s and mm-hmm. somebody was like, just pull her head out back then and it'll be like huge. He probably would have went, that sounds... Yeah, would you do sounds it? good. Would sounds, you do it? sounds like normal marketing for 2003. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly what it is. Because same yeah. with the Britney Spears, shave your head, that sounds fun. Yeah. And she kissed Madonna. Remember Britney yes. kissed Madonna? Yeah. Yes. At the, was it the MTV, MTV. Music Awards? And yeah. everyone yeah. went mad for it. Yeah. You know I kissed Madonna now. 
Well, you wouldn't know where she is or who she is or which one she is because she doesn't look like Madonna anymore. She's yeah. so different. Now, she looks she? like a yeah. completely different person. I think her lips work. But she's I think she's went full overhaul. Like she's gotten, oh, yeah. you know, scrotox in her face. She's got scrotox in her face. <laughs> 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 it's completely really different. Yeah. What do you remember by moment, Lisa? Mine's is, do you remember when MSN Messenger Oh yeah, was a big Dial thing. Up. Oh boy. Yeah, come ASL. home from school. Oh. Wouldn't even take the uniform off. You've literally just left your friends mm-hmm. and straight on signing in. But you'd sign in, you'd be chatting away at your friends, and then you would see somebody that you like's online. You're like, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone you fancy? Yeah, they haven't actually. They haven't messaged me yet, so you'd sign out, and sign back in. Yeah, so it comes up on their <laughs> screen. That was a tactic. There that was, was a tactic. There was another one where I think you could write, you could change your username, so it'd be like, say it was like Arn Two K or whatever. You yeah. Then go Arn Two K Love Heart Love Heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? You'd keep changing that so they could like. Do you remember your username? Did you have? Did you remember your username? No, I don't. I didn't have one because we didn't have the internet until I was 26. <laughs> but my, I would go to my friend's house and she would have one. And do you remember you would do the brackets, uh, the wee things and the wee comma and a bracket and it would look like a smiley face? That's oh, right. The, yeah. That was that. the first emojis. Yeah. That's be- right. Before you could do like actual, you would just use all the, the, the fucking, symbols I don't know, the, the symbols. Screen, yeah. That's what they're called. But it'd be, everyone would be like, like, like fucking Brenda, X123, hearts, <laughs> Brian, yeah, X1, yeah, that's you right. know, when it was like. Real artsy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. ASL, uh, but Sh- Sean, like my husband, <laughs> he's when he was younger and he was on uh, MSN Messenger. Do you reckon like, you could talk to anybody? You didn't have to, like anybody could be your contacts. You could mm-hmm. talk to, and he says he talked to this girl. From, they were he was like early teens. Talked to this girl from America for hours and hours and hours. Oh they told God. each other they loved each other. They fall in love. They were gonna spend their lives together. She told. <laughs> She's she like, told I'm him, Derek from Massachusetts. But sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and I, Sean, they'd arranged for her to fly over and all. And he was what? like, I, she, she was, this is like on one day. She was like, I'm going <laughs> to. What a day. <laughs> what a day. What a day for Sean. <laughs> I'm going to fly over and like come be with you in Lurgan. <laughs> what age were they at the time? Like what? maybe 12 or something, Amazing. 13. Amazing. And he's like, I'm going to fly over and be with you and all. And Sean was like, yes, absolutely. You're you're like my future wife. This is that I'm going to come collect you at Belfast International Airport and ring in a taxi now. Like, well, in five hours by the time you get here and blah, blah, blah. And they arranged this whole thing. And Sean was like, I just signed out and went and played football with my mates. <laughs> <laughs> never, and he forgot his username, forgot yeah, his yeah. password. He's like, I'll never know. He's like, he's like that poor girl is probably still standing at the International wait. Airport. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the old lady in Titanic at the computer. It's like weird. Imagine though, right? You knew that, and then you went on, like, like say you were on YouTube one day, and then there's like fucking Britney Spears telling this story about like one guy, this <laughs> Irish, one time this Irish guy on MSN promised MSN. to marry her. Yeah. She flew over, oh. and he was nowhere to be seen. Imagine it had been somebody like Apple, because you just don't know. You don't, you know. don't know. It could have been Britney on the other end. Do you remember as well, MSN had nudges. You could nudge yes. someone. Yeah. That was weird. It was wee made a wee noise. Yeah. yeah. They had all these wee tricks to just get people to not talk to each other, but yeah. talk to each other. That was the start of the end. Poke was another one, wasn't it? Was it Poke? Oh, that's Facebook. Oh, Poke. Oh, that's Facebook, is it? That yeah. Is, that was the... the Poke idea. was Facebook. Is it the same thing, pokey? though? You just, no. like, a wee nudge? Oh, well, uh-huh. yes, but it didn't make a noise. I think the Poke is just a way of going, like, hi, hey, yeah, but without having to say anything, which is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. And you'd only get it from perverts. Yeah. <laughs> only a pervert's going to poke you. Do you know what I mean? Don't look at me, Lisa. Yeah, well, you, you literally, you you pointed to yourself. I did point to myself to be like... <laughs> She didn't have yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have to. The pervert. <laughs> I really owned it. Yeah, don't yeah. point at me. Because <laughs> I'll do it myself. We yeah, need yeah. to finish up. You hang either of you. you have a tour coming up, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have a tour in Where April. Where are you all going to be? going to be in the Empire in Belfast. I'm going to be in the Nerve Centre in Derry. I'm going to be in... Do you want all the, the venues? Well, you're just going to be about, aren't you? Where can people buy tickets? Yeah. They I know the Belfast one's sold key. out, isn't it? Belfast sold out, yeah. Where can um, people buy tickets? LisaMcHughMusic.com. Okay. All the tickets are on there, so can't wait. And there'll be a link in the bio. Information. <laughs> wow. In the bio. Yeah, yeah, there'll yeah. be a link on the internet where this is. Yes. <laughs> um, Arm, would you like to plug anything for the girl? At my solo show, second date, yes. Lavery's uh, over. First date sold out. First date sold out. There's Class. about 80 tickets left for this one, so <clears> we're over a third sold out on this one. Uh, ArnButlerTickets.com. See you all there. That's where you get the tickets, armbutlertickets.com. Yep. Link will also be on the internet where you find this. Of course it will. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so glad that we could do this Valentine's Day special and that you're now going to run off into the... Oh, wow. Is that what together. this is? I just realised this is probably out this week, which is Valentine's week. All right. So, I wish I knew. 
Happy procreating, guys. <laughs> no. Or not. <laughs> or not, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much.